Well, welcome. Or if you see my other recent posts, welcome back, I suppose. This is my third video covering a work in progress of a painting of wolves. And in this video, I'll be discussing my approach to painting the background. So this is a wooded pine setting that I have planned. And the process begins with a general field of color, in this case, dark green. I apply the first layer of paint with a little bit of transparency. So some of the areas end up lighter, some of the areas a little bit darker. Um, and this creates an instant textural variation that helps to provide a sense of depth almost immediately. As I start putting in the individual trees, I'll be using that textural variety to help guide me. The lighter areas will become sections of pine needles and branches that come forward into the light. And the darker areas will be the more distant shadowy trees that fall back into sort of just a nondescript space. As I did with the wolves, I'm painting in full detail as I go. And as you can see uh, right here, several additional colors have been mixed in preparation for that. So here I've got some details started and I'm adding highlights to individual branches and needles to help bring them forward. I should also mention that I am working within a limited value range. So there are no real extreme darks that approach black or no highlights that are overly bright. And this serves a couple of purposes. It keeps the background in the back for starters, allowing those wolves to come forward. It also means that despite all the visual activity or busyness of the texture, that limited value range will keep from drawing your eye away from the focal points. That's probably a good rule of thumb to keep in mind. The eye is always drawn to higher contrasts. Now, as a near completion of the background space, I've gone ahead and punched a few holes in the darker areas to suggest another plane that lies beyond that stand of trees that helps to give that some additional depth. Now that the background is basically in, uh, in the next video, I'll move on to the rocks and grasses in the foreground. It might take a little bit of time also to show how I clean up the edges and maybe just go over the whole painting in general with some minor adjustments to make it all fit together. So I hope you check back in next time, and as always, thanks so much for watching.